I think you and I are going to have a little bit of an issue if you're the type of person that saves online resources like YouTube videos, uh, blog posts, or any sort of resource online on your bookmarks tab on Google. How many times have you saved all of these resources on your bookmarks tab and you don't reference them like ever? Let's fix that right now. Let's hop onto the computer so I can show you how I save all of my resources online inside of Notion. All right, so once you install the Notion template in your workspace, the very next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your Google Chrome extensions and then you're going to install this extension right here. It's called Save to Notion. I will leave a link to it down below in the description. Now, once you install the Chrome extension, you're going to go to the article, whatever it is that you found online so that you can reference it later. Now, the way you do that is by doing the following. Let's say you wanna start an LLC and then you found this article on Forbes that teaches you how to start an LLC in seven steps in 2024. Let's say that this is important to you. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to connect your resource library database inside of your Save to Notion Chrome extension. And the way it's going to work is you're going to click here on the Save to Notion icon. You're going to click on add new form. You're gonna click on that select a page or a database. And now I want you to pay close attention to this. This right here, this is the resource library page. This, you don't want to select this resource library demo. That's why I named this um, database resource library demo database. And the reason why yours is not gonna say demo, yours is just gonna say database like that. The reason why I named it like this is so that I can find it over here because if I select the resource library demo page, it's going to add the resource that I want to save the article inside of the notion page itself and not the database and we want it inside of the database, right? So what we're going to do is quickly just copy this name, click here, search databases and pages, and then it's right here. You'll select that. And then the next you're going to do is you're going to map all of the fields. And in this case, the title is page title, which is what I want. The content image is actually, I want to remove the content image. The reason why I personally don't add any content images is because the main content image is going to be this, right? So once you save this article inside of your database, it's going to have two of the same images. And the reason why that's happening is because the image is also included inside of the web page content. And I personally don't want that. So the next thing we're going to do is click on categories. Then we're going to move it here. And then we're going to select any of these categories that I want. So given that this is a uh, legal type of article, then I will save it inside of the legal category right there. I think that's pretty much all that I want to do. I don't want to pin or favorite this. So uh, you can always have these options available. Let's say that you want to use this for later. You can just pin it right here. That's about it. I don't want to add any other attachments. So I'll just save that as it is. And then now the next thing I'm going to do is click on save and go back. Now I'm going to click on the database again. And then now it's going to prompt me with all of the properties inside of my database. Let me just click on here, save page and close uh, pop up. So we're going to click on that. And then once that's saving to notion, it's now right here inside of our uh, resource library. As you can see how to start an LLC 2024 guide legal, and then the, the URL of the thing is right here. So you can see that the total amount of resources inside of this category just went up to one. Let's open this up. And as you can see, all of the information is right here. And that is essentially how you save resources to your Notion.